Sagittarius. Whew. Okay. What's going on, Sag? Something's a little bit backwards, a little bit off. And this is in reference to love. What's going on? What's going on this week? How you guys been? Let's see what we have for Sagittarius and love, romantic love. Love, look what you've done to me. Never thought I'd fall again so easily. <sighs> Don't ask me why that song came in my mind. Who sings that? Hang on. It's what I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. I had to double check. Boss Skaggs. What is going on? Did you fall in love with somebody? Never thought you'd fall again so easily. Okay, well, mm, that's what I'm hearing. That's the song I'm hearing, which I'm like, ooh, good for you, Sag. But I don't know if I like this. World in Reverse. Ten of Swords in Reverse. Star in Reverse. Seven of Wands in Reverse. Sagittarius. I have it. I have it still up. Hope they never end this song. This could take us all night long. I looked at the moon and felt blue, and I felt blue. Then I looked again and I saw you. Eyes like fire in the night. Bridges burning with their light. Now I want to spend the whole night through. And honey, yes, I'd like to spend it all on you. Love, look what you've done to me. Never thought I'd fall again so e I'm getting chills. So easily. Oh love, you wouldn't lie to me, leading me to feel this way. They might fade and turn to stone. Let's get crazy all alone. Hold me closer than you'd ever dare. Close your eyes and I'll be there. And after all this said and done, after all, after all you are the one. Take me up your stairs and through the door. Take me where we don't care anymore. Now you got me all depressed, Sag. <laughs> My goodness. So, judging from these lyrics, these lyrics are interesting to me. A couple of these bridges burning with their light. They might fade and turn to stone. Close your eyes and I'll be there. This is giving me... Could you have... Get the moon. Could you have fallen for someone? And maybe they're un you're uncertain about how they feel? Could you be on the outs with somebody? But you don't want to... This is interesting. Let me get a little bit more because what I'm kind of getting is it's kind of mixed. Page of Wands in Reverse. Three of Swords. Whew. That's like the that's the um that's the magician in the upright. I mean in the in the reverse, sorry. So this came out first. Then this. Six 
Six of Swords. What in the world is going on? It's kind of how it's reminding me of how, because I, it's like literally as soon as I started this reading, I, I started hearing that song. So, what I'm kind of getting in combination with this and the lyrics, because the lyrics are a little bit mixed, okay? There's a couple of lines in those lyrics that are just like, it sounds a little bit like, you know, something happened. So, what I'm getting from this, okay, we'll just say what I'm getting from this. The world in reverse, it's something is not complete. Something's not done. It's not over. It's not finished. It's reminding me of a, a line from a movie, but I can't think of what it is. It might be endless love. It's not finished. It's not over. Somebody doesn't want it to be over. Somebody wants to remove all those blockages. Okay? And what I'm getting is somebody wants, but they're unable to bring it into fruition. They're just completely unable to do it. All right? Somebody may actually need help or assistance in trying to get over another person, get over a situation. That's kind of what I'm getting, especially with this, this Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, I'll tell you what. How can, okay, let, let's, let's figure this out first before I, before I do that. Temperance. Hmm. It's going to take two. It's going to take two. Bottom line is, someone is probably going to have to pour all their emotions into someone else or something else. Probably like spill it all out. Let somebody else know. Okay? Chances are. The unfortunate part is, that's always a risk. Is it a risk that you're willing to take? Okay? If you pour everything out to this person, are they going to reciprocate? That's a big risk. Are you able to accept? What would happen if, you know, depending on, you know, let's say it didn't go the way that you want it. Are you going to be able to accept that? Are you prepared? Emotional, mentally, emotionally and mentally. Are you prepared? Okay. Four cups. Well, I was excited for you. I thought maybe you met somebody new. But, uh, Knight of Cups. Hmm. Eight of Swords. So, here's what I'm getting. Now, this could be you or this could be somebody else that you're dealing with. Somebody could be feeling this way about Sag. Okay? Oh, I'm feeling like really, really depressed all of a sudden. So, I don't know what happened. I don't really think it's necessary for me to dig into what happened. You know what happened. That's all that matters. Okay? So, I probably doesn't even want to kind of like think about whatever it was that happened. Because whatever happened might be so ridiculous. It's possible. You know, sometimes people are just like, oh, I'm mortified with what I just did. You know? Or... You know, somebody really could be just like, you know, I can't believe I did that or whatever. So sometimes that you, you have that factor, okay, or something like that. So chances are somebody doesn't even want to think about that. They don't want to relive it. Even though they know that they have to, they don't want to. So that's probably why it's kind of hidden from this, okay? And again, there's no reason for me to really dig into it, all right? What we have here is this present moment. Stay in the present. Be in the present. In the present moment, this is how somebody is feeling. Now we have to kind of get over whatever this feeling is. Somebody wants to reach out to another person. Um, maybe repair that bridge that had been burned. Okay. 
it's just you. Just roll the dice. Just remember, are you prepared? Okay. Because it could go good, but it could also go not so good. All right. I'm going to say this at this point. Okay. Your best bet. <laughs> You're Sagittarius. <laughs> You're supposed to be optimistic. Aren't you the sign of optimism? Aren't you the transmuter? Have you forgotten that this is who you are? Have you forgotten? Depending on whatever it is, whoever this person is, whether they're in your life or not, are you okay? Aren't you okay whether this person's in your life or not? Do you need this person to go on? Aren't you able to bounce back from this? I think you are. I know you are. You're Sagittarius. at the bottom of the deck. And there's also the Seven of Swords. So, I'm just going to put it this way. Chances are it's a good possibility that if you reach out to this person that it'll be successful. Okay? Put this way. Seven of Swords. And look, it reveals the Six of Cups. I was about to say, <laughs> chances are with the Seven of Swords, a person may lie and be like, yes, it's okay, or whatever. Or they may not be fully honest, you know, that they are okay, or whatever. Something that could be hidden. You know, whatever that is, it could be a little bit of deception. I don't know that it's necessarily a bad thing. They might be just doing something to, e to e maybe to ease your pain, to help you, f you know, feel better. Let's say you call contact somebody and say, "Look, I've really, really missed you," um, and they might be like trying to like help you through it. You know, they might be like, you know, hey, things, whatever, but I don't want you to feel this way. You know, sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't. That could be what that is. You know, maybe they're not going to be fully honest about that. You know, or about something. Maybe they might be full, may, they may not be fully honest that, you know, they want to reconcile or maybe they feel like they have to do something um, just in order to help you or to please you or maybe they don't want to. Either way, those are kind of considered, they're, they're really considered deception if you're not being fully honest, okay? Sometimes people will do things, you know, or say things in order to help people, but they may not be full, you know, may not be true. And it's like, you are very, very beautiful and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But maybe somebody doesn't really think that that person beautiful. They're just doing it just to be kind. That's still a seven of swords, you know. But in order to lift somebody up, sometimes people, you know, may not be fully, you know, honest in order to help somebody heal or to build them up. It could be something like that. However, <laughs> this person definitely feels the same way. Somebody definitely misses your presence, too. They do. Somebody definitely misses you. All right. But I'm two of Pentacles. I definitely seeing somebody making some kind of contact or talking to another person. Um, this feels a little bit rough. Feels a lot rough. But it's up to you. Um, no, every situation may not result in that. You'll know if the person is, you know, 
you will know if this person is safe to reach out to. If this person is a decent person, if they're a rational person, if you know that they're not a horrible person, you will know that it's safe to say, hey, I can actually still continue a good dialogue with this person. You will know. If you don't know, then believe me, there's people out there that don't know. They don't know. Which is a little interesting to me. We all know people that we can rely on. We all know people that we can, you know, either communicate with and people that we can't. Okay. So you will know if this is your story and it is safe for you to reach out to this person. On the other hand, some of you that maybe, you know, this is the way, it, the way it's looking in here. But if, you know, sometimes, you know, you never know. Everything's a roll of the dice. Okay. I don't know that, you know, things will come about. Let, let's say you want to get back with this person romantically. Let's say you want to get back with them. I see this person kind of maybe wanting to stay single. Okay. Maybe kind of go on on their own. I kind of see that, even though that could also be it. I mean, with the chariot here, that tells me somebody, you know, generally the chariot in a, in a reading means um, um, somebody that could be going on, on their path on their own, okay, by themselves. They're just going to have to kind of go on, on their own. And that's what that's kind of telling me. So we had that seven of swords. This person might be like, you know what, I, I think I just need to stay single. I'm, I'm just going to go on, on my own, you know, thank you. I, I, it was really, really nice talking to you or whatever. Or, you know, they could be telling you this. They could be telling you that they want to remain single. They want to be on their own. But the deception could be that they really don't want to. They really want to be with you. Okay. Regardless. What we want and what is good for us are two different things. This person may lie to you and say that they want to remain single and be on their own. But they really want to be back with you. Which could be a lie. Because they know what they want. However, they know probably what they need or what is best for them could be very, very different. So sometimes people have to lie. Because, you know, sometimes people have to deceive themselves. You're like... There's, all of us have that person where it's just like, you know what, if we were together, it probably wouldn't be so good. I'd probably be losing part of myself, blah, 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 whatever the reason, or they could be very abusive, whatever it is, whatever it is. It doesn't always have to be that, but it could be. Um, sometimes we know what is best for us, even though we want something else, which is a deception. It's a very hard decision. We always have to make, everyone has to make a very difficult decision in this life. And sometimes all the options are just crap, you know? I know that there are people that if they came back to me, <laughs> you know, from a long time ago, if they came back to me, you know, even though I still, you know, feel a certain way, it would be hard to kind of, you know, there's somebody in particular, one person in particular, you know, a couple people in particular, that if they, you know, wanted to get back to me, I'd be like, you know what, I, I really wish things didn't go the way that they did, but, you know, I, I can't put myself in that position again because that first time was really really so horrible and traumatic the way that it ended I I can't you know so you see what I mean it's still a deception you know I'm still lying to myself because I know what I want but I know that I cannot put myself in that situation again okay does that make sense all right and that could be what this is could be you you might be wanting to get back with somebody and you, you're just like you know what I love this person. I think they're my soulmate. I'm supposed to be with them. They're my twin flame. But I know that if I get back with them, they're going to be abusive. You know. So, what you want and what's best for you are two different things. All right. I definitely see. That's the Two of Pentacles. I definitely see contact being made. Am I saying that that's what's going to happen? No. No. We still have free will. Things can change at any moment at the snap of a finger. What I'm feeling right now in this present moment is what's going on in this reading. Okay. For some people, it's going to be different. Or the situation could definitely change. Depends. Everything depends. All right. That's it. Um, like, comment, 
share, follow, and hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, um, DM become the star 1111 at gmail.com. Or you can DM me through, did I say DM or email? You can DM me through Instagram, uh, become the star, um, become the star, all one word, <laughs> all lowercase. Um, if you want to reach out to me for a private reading, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't reach out to people. I, I don't do that. I don't, I don't know of any legitimate reader that actually does that. So it's just food for thought for anyone. Please don't be scammed. I'm, I'm surprised people still get scammed. No, we don't do that. We don't do that. Anyone that's legitimate, don't do that. So, all right. That's it. Um...